I remember at the time we were living in a, like a block of flats type thing, like an apartment building sort of shit if you're American. <laughs> That's just the one fucking place that we go to. Oh yeah, if you're American. <laughs> if you're American. I don't know what it's like in Canada. I don't know what it's like in any other fucking European country. But if you're American, it's like a block of, like apartment block. <laughs> like we just know because of media and shit. We? Um, but I, like behind that, you got like the, uh, like a big-ish um, spacious area where, you know, you park cars and stuff. Like, it wasn't really a, a parking lot type thing. So, kind of like my place in GTA, where we have the massive building and then behind it you have, like, the parking. Yeah, but that was an actual parking spot. It's just, like, like a gravelly... Um, uh, say where you park cars, but it's not a uh, fucking park. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, it, like it's a, not a parking spot, but it's a parking spot. Um, but behind that, we, yeah, we had that fucking parking spot, but not parking spot. And in the uh, west, what midwest? No, mid east, mid east area of uh, Wales, you know. You tend to get a lot of snow. Around, Wales, UK. Around, it's not just England. Around um, Christmas time. Or any cold time. So basically all, all day, uh, days of the year. Especially for the UK. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not raining, it's snowing. <laughs> um, but I remember going back there and obviously we had snow and stuff. And we were playing in the snow and all that crap. Um, and it was the same year that I that my brother got Monsters Inc. on it was either VHS or it was a, a DVD. I think it was it the same year that Monsters Inc. came out. Or was I, it I can't remember. I think it was either that year or it was the year after. Or it was the year after that? I can't remember. So two thousand and one, two thousand and two, two thousand and three. Mm, okay. Um, and I remember having a fucking. My mother bought me a. A fucking remote control uh, motorcycle bike fucking thing. Kind of like a remote control racing cars. That you used to get, like the decent fucking ones. But it was the bike and it was shit. (laughs) And I used to fucking... I I never managed to actually fucking get to play with that fucking bike. Because I... I fucking... At the age of I I was at the time. I was dumb as fuck as a kid. (laughs) I couldn't work it out. Um... The one thing I wanted as a fucking kid was a fucking, there's like quad bike fucking things. Like, but like a natural like full size quad bike, but it's so you like wanted kids. a quad, you wanted a quad bike. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it wouldn't. It's like a toy quad bike, but it still works like a fucking quad bike. Huh. But I never got one. What was it? One with pedals, and you just put it your way. <laughs> no, it's like one that has a battery. Uh. Um, but it was gutting because I wanted a remote control car and both, my, both my brothers had one and I had a fucking it's a bike <laughs> as in our family we never get what the fuck we want no <laughs> like one of my brothers had a, a remote control uh, Subaru Ratsa my other brother had a remote control fucking Mitsubishi Lancer and then there was just me with a fucking a bicycle. <laughs> some dude on a bike <laughs> It was shit. <laughs> I was so fucking gutted because I really want a fucking remote control bike. Uh, not a remote, remote control bike, a fucking remote control car. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I, I bet you were one of the type of kids that would cry if you didn't get what the fuck you wanted. Weren't you? <laughs> I mean, you was physically abused to eat raisins. <laughs> 